I'll go. Oh, so we are here at Oak Canyon Park in uh, California and we're about to do the dead cow to suicide loop. So it's roughly a two mile climb to the top of this trail. So it's quite the climb, way more than I'm used to, but uh, you have to get all the way to the top over there, I'm pretty sure. So for this ride, I am bringing a tray bell, trail bell because um, apparently there's quite a few hikers on this trail sometimes. Raise your seat, dude. What? Keep going over, isn't it? I'll wait for you. This is just the easy part. It's about to get much harder once we get climbing up that mountain. Oh, tacky. There's no way we could have ridden up that. So we're nearing like the very, very top here. And um, that's part of the climb. I don't know how anybody could be able to climb that. That's crazy. All right, so we made it to the top. That was an insane ascent. But um, we just have to hike up this trail right here. And then we should be on the suicide trail, which as we were talking to a hiker just down when we were ascending, and he was saying that it's legendary. So um, I have high hopes for it. The final stretch of the ascent, just a little hike to the trail mouth for suicide. And then we should be in the money. So the climb is about a 2.2 mile climb and we, we just did it in like 90 degree heat so it was pretty friggin miserable from all the way down at that green patch right there all the way up to here switchbacks all the way oh this is it all right we're here here we go first part of the trail quite a gnarly little rock garden I think I'm a struggle to make it down. Oh, definitely. Oh, this is difficult. But I made it. So we are all good on the western front. Oh, I've been caught. Oh, is this more ascending? I thought we were there. I guess there's a little bit more of an ascent. And then it definitely starts right after this, because I'll just check in the trail map. Here we go. Wait for Jimmy. Oh, almost went OTB there. Yeah. 
this is definitely one of the most technical rock sessions I've ever experienced. Oh, holy crap. That is extraordinarily technical. Almost went over the bars a few times there. That's pretty freaking steep. Careful there, Jamesy boy. I almost went over the bars like twice on that. That is extremely steep. Wow. Alrighty. Let's continue this descent. I am so very far back on the bike here. It is not even funny. I don't imagine there would be very many hikers on this trail, but I still think it's a good idea I brought the, brought the trail well. But this definitely does not seem like the kind of trail that you would want to hike. What's wrong? This is very bumpy. Oh! Oh, my front brakes are out. That's no good. I do this sometimes, but yeah, it's still slowing me down. Good line through there. Oh, okay, that's the line to take. All right. This is one of the most bumpy trails I have ever ridden. Line selection is very important on this one. So bumpy. Maintain my speed through here. 
I'm also not flying down to my death. Oh, that's pretty big. There's a jump right there, dude. Looks like, do you have to gap over the trail? Holy <laughs> I definitely do not have the skill for that. Look at that. God damn. All right, looks like I'm gonna go around the jump this time. Uh, just hold up, are we headed the right way? And we are going definitely the right way. Nice little jump there. Nice little berm and some more rocky downhill. This is definitely better for a downhill bike. With some very nice berms. Nice sweeping berms. A little jump there into a fairly fast technical descent. Another berm. Oh, missed that. Uh, down here. This is by far the best trail I've ever ridden that is not at like a bike park. Definitely, no doubt in my mind. A little bit of an ascent here, not too bad. Uh, pretty much had enough speed to make it up that. Looks like there's another little jump here. Into a pretty fast descent. Ow. Holy crap! Yeah, definitely better suited for a downhill bike. If you have one, bring it. That's definitely a descent. All right now, the best line through this, would that be this way? For an all mountain bike? Yes. For a downhill bike. I would go, oh, <laughs> Almost went over the bars there. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, that's the wrong way around. All right, so just had a little over the bars. Nothing too major. Um, let's just continue on. Definitely nearing the bottom here. You can see the houses over there. Now, which way to take? There's definitely plenty of line selection throughout this whole thing. Oh, Mr. Lizard, watch yourself. I cannot see that. That was going right into the sun. Oh, pretty big jump. Decent. The 
the jump selection is definitely more fast on this than most local trails. Um, although, this is being a, turned out to be a very fun trail. Looks like I am nearing the end of it here. Coming down this section. Did one hell of a drift right there. And two. So that was the trail. Um, that was extremely fun. Uh, if only the climb wasn't so bad, but definitely a great trail. If you don't mind climbing, I would highly recommend it. Um, Plenty of jumps, very technical, pretty fast. What? I'm snapping mother derailer. You snap, oh. How do you, what derailer is it? SRAM X7. How do you snap your derailers, dude? Dude, I don't know. Oh, let's just coast to the car. But yeah, I definitely recommend that trail if you don't mind the climb. Uh, very fun, tons of jumps and tech stuff. Um, thanks for watching.